Hello and welcome back to the tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to shoot the arrows and hit the target. Let's get started. Okay, first thing first we need to create a new variable here. Right click, add global variable. I'm going to call this shoot. It'll be one when we shoot a arrow. So now let's change the angle of bow and other stuff. So for doing that at action, touch as in touch hit B button double click system when shoot is equal to zero we want to change the angle of bow so at action bow set angle toward position and position is touch.x and touch.y very good and let's change the uh, position and angle of arrow at action arrow set angle to bow dot angle and arrow dot position uh, is going to be bow dot x and bow dot y now let's hit run and as you can see it's working very well now we need to change and uh, set the angle and position of the strings so for doing that I need to create a new function and move these uh, actions here to the function so hit F button set strings okay set the strings and hit B I'm gonna uh, pick first object of a string which is instance zero, zero and put this actions here and here hit B button copy and paste it here and change instance to 1 which is second string and it's going to be it's going to have these actions okay now we need to call this function here uh, so click here hit B button add action function set as strings and let's copy and paste it here and uh, hit run okay now we need to set the position of the strings for doing that let's go here at action setting set position and it's going to be bow dot image point x of one and let's copy and paste it here and change the X to Y this is for first string and let's copy and paste it here and I'm gonna change the 1 to 2 for the second string now hit run it's working when we touch but uh, at the start it doesn't work for making it work uh, we need to add a little weight here so add action system weight and I'm gonna set it to zero and let's put it above of this action let's run it's working at the start and when uh, and when we touch okay now we need to shoot the arrows for doing that let's go here okay as you can see I already added bullets behavior to the arrow object and the bullet have these values and of course it's in uh, it's disabled so uh, here we want to shoot the arrow for doing that at action touch on any touch end and it's going to be hit, and hit P button Add action system set value shoot to one and add action arrow set enabled to enabled and arrow set angle of motion to its angle which is self dot angle hit run and when we release the touch it's going to shoot the arrow as you can see now after shoot I need to set uh, the angle of these uh, strings for doing that let's go here hit B button copy and paste this here and add action string set angle bow dot 
angle plus 90 and let's see it's working or not okay it's working and for the second one I'm gonna say instance 1 go dot angle minus 90 and it's working very well okay okay let's go back here and set the collision with target so for doing that at event arrow on collision with target at action arrow set split disabled and at action arrow set frame to one and let's see how it looks okay we need to change the x and y of the arrow when it hits the target for doing that let's go here at action arrow uh, set position to target dot x and here I'm, I want to use clamp we use clamp for uh, limiting a value between two values for example we want to limit the y of arrow between top of the target and bottom of the target so here uh, first value is arrow dot y which is the base value and it's going to be limit between uh, target dot image point y of 1 and target dot image point y of 10 these values are here as you can see one at the one is uh, in top of the target and 10 is at the bottom so let's go here and see okay very good nice all right it's looking much much better so here is the tutorial thanks for watching in the next video I'm gonna show you how to get a score and show the score in the game